so does all popular content just suck now? Now, obviously this is an overgeneralization in terms of production quality on YouTube, things have quite literally never been as good as they are now, but something about it just feels palpably gross doesn't it? We've all seen what I'm talking about. You know, you open up YouTube in a private browser just to see their default recommendations, and not only is the vast majority complete and utter trash, but it's trash that somehow has 30 million views and that YouTube swears is the best content that they have on the platform, which is complete and utter insanity, as well as just being generally kind of borderline offensive. And it just seems that 99% of popular content boils down to four main categories. Overproduced excess content, primarily geared towards children. Reaction videos that are literally just freebooting, also primarily geared towards children. A company put a bunch of people in a room together and asked them questions. This one is primarily geared towards adults while they fold their laundry, or at least that's what I do. And hyper edited gaming content, wouldn't you know it, also primarily geared towards children. But the main issue with all of these and YouTube as a whole at its core is extremely simple. It just lacks real personality. It just doesn't feel like people make videos anymore. It all just feels like an optimized content strategy to make as much money as possible more than it does a person that made something cool that wanted to share it with you because that's objectively what's happening. But it wasn't always this way. It's a little bit hard to conceptualize now, but back in 2008 through 2010, people just uploaded whatever onto this website. Like whether or not it was good or bad didn't matter. Whether or not there was an audience for it didn't matter. Whether or not it was even theirs didn't matter. It was just a complete and utter free for all. Back then, if you released a video that was bad, didn't really go anywhere and didn't really have anything to offer, you could still become a household name just for the mere act of trying and uploading a video in the first place. And that was really cool. And no disrespect to these creators or these videos in any way, because what made this content so special was because content didn't exist yet. The mere concept of content was being conceptualized and attempted in real time right before our eyes. And that was both exciting and extremely raw. But making these types of videos in 2023 would be insane. I mean, no one would watch that shit. Or would they? Because it is at this point in the video that we are going to take a field trip back to the year 2012. The 2009 spirit of just completely winging everything was still there, just a little bit more professional now, balancing right in between just people goofing off and a professional pipeline of making the most clickable content possible. That's the sweet spot. So without further ado, put on your rose-tinted glasses or your rose-tinted epic Shane Dawson sunglasses that no one bought, play Gangnam Style, wear your Fred shirt, do whatever, because we're going back to the golden era of YouTube. What's happening, Forum? Remember baking with your grandma and you accidentally add too much cinnamon? Well, this next guy is taking that to a whole new level. Check it. All right, dude, I'll do it. You're recording? Yeah, I'm recording. You're, okay, all right, ready? This is the cinnamon challenge. Ready? Oh, fuck. It's not in It's not that bad. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. oh, it's like under my tongue. <laughs> this trend is called the cinnamon challenge. So look out guys, you might be next. <laughs> This was peak comedy back in like 2010. Isn't that depressing? But anyways, guys, the cinnamon challenge isn't the only trend that's sweeping the nation right now because we also have the ASL ice bucket challenge. Let's have a look. All right, so this bucket has been uh, chilling in the fridge overnight. It is now freezing cold. And it's also freezing cold outside too. So that's that's awesome. I nominate uh, Tabuscus, PewDiePie, and Sky Does Minecraft, all people that I'm sure will be still loved in the public eye in the year 2023. Oh, that sucks. ASL Ice Bucket Challenge? More like BBL Ice Bucket Challenge, am I right? Oh, wooga! All right, well, this Ray William Johnson segment has somehow already outstayed its welcome, even though it's only been like one minute. No wonder his videos were so short. You get tired of them pretty borderline immediately. Even though Equals 3 laid the groundwork for what would become modern day commentary videos, I think that we can all agree that it should just be left in the past to be forgotten because it's it, it hasn't aged well. Anyways, Forum, let's move on to the next segment. 
<laughs> Despite the golden age of YouTube giving birth to a lot of one-off sensations and challenges, one thing that came from this era that was definitely here to stay was the rise of gaming content. Although gaming on this platform has existed since the site's first inception, starting in 2012 is when gaming really started to have an explosion with a defined fan base and a relatively defined schedule. Episodes would come out daily, be around 10 to 20 minutes long, and typically have very little to sometimes absolutely no editing. There is a lot of nostalgia based in this type of content, but have you gone back and actually watched these videos since then? They, they do not hold up. There would be entire episodes where someone is stuck at a puzzle, and that's it. Nothing else happens. Nowadays, something like that would be cut from a video with absolutely no hesitation, but back then, it would be its own episode called Amnesia Custom Story Part 47, where do I go? Crying face, and we ate it up for some reason. Its rush production is extremely obvious in hindsight because there are so many people who, if you go back and watch their old content, they will sometimes mess up an intro and then do it again, and they left that in the final take. Just, hey guys, <clears throat> hey guys, what? Well, that's how the video starts. <laughs> It's really bad. It was, for the most part, relatively lazy content pushed through the pipeline as fast as humanly possible, and with the benefit of hindsight, it's actually kind of obvious. That, combined with TikTok collectively ruining everyone's attention span, means that this style of video is essentially dead for better or for worse. Nowadays, you do actually have to switch things up relatively quickly in order to keep people's interest, like unnecessarily changing camera angles, for instance. The rise of gaming content was spearheaded by a decent handful of channels and a decent handful of games, and some of both have aged like milk. However, I do think that some of it is worth revisiting. So I think I'm gonna cut the whole video essay analysis part of this video short and play one of the most iconic games from this era, Happy Wheels. <laughs> How's 2012 treating you guys? What's your favorite? Uh, you get guys been listening to a lot of uh, Owl City. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot Santa's in this game. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now this is this. I all right. I remember why this game is cool. Launchpad is fucked up, boss. Be careful. It really is 2012. What's your guys' favorite uh, Lonely Island uh, sketch? I love Dick in a Box. Oh my god, the ones with with uh, with Lady Gaga go so hard. Go so hard is, is very 2020. I'm sorry. It's the it's it's boss. It's pretty epic. There we go. It's awesome sauce. Me gusta. Am I right? Hit that like button if me gusta. Oh, dude, my favorite YouTuber right now gotta be Shane Dawson. Dude, Shane Dawson should play this. That'd be so funny. I love it. I, I also lo I love his. I love the um. I love the the series he does where he eats food. It's dude so funny. So uh, you can really tell he's like pushing the bounds of content, of what someone can withstand content-wise is what I mean. There will be more. Oh, I'm sure that that is true. A little inspired by amnesia. Oh boy, it's 2012. Hey, all of you watching, why you no subscribe? <laughs> Get it, guys. LOL, just joking. We're, we have fun here. Obstacle course, question mark? Prepare for the thrill of your life. Watch out for bad things. <laughs> that's just life, le that's a life lesson, if anything. Okay, play now. Oh, you I forgot about the screen. Who are you? Is this guy new? Be oh, the, the, this guy. Are these guys that no one played ever, because why would you? I'm gonna be this guy. This this is always my favorite favorite guy. I liked the I liked the the mechanism of the how you pr hold space. I like that, and you could do like cool stuff like this. <laughs> Wasn't that cool? If any women are watching, oh. If any women are watching, stop watching immediately. Um, keep not watching. All right, now start watching. Hey, ladies. <laughs> Smosh just announced the newest uh, epic food battle thing. That's so good. It's going to be so f so much fun. It's so much shingles. It's all shingles. What is with Happy Wheels and shingles? Big Knee Lover, yeah! Shout out to Big Knee Lover. The Crust Pag channel endorses Big Knee Lover. Happy Wheels future! Oh, this is what Happy Wheels will look like in 2014. Welcome! Dude, come! Dude! Dude, did you guys see that? Oh man, that's epic. 
All right. Oh yeah, sword throw. Oh dude. Boo. Oh yeah. <laughs> 2012. See you later, uh, Mister. Uh, Cause right now we're in 2014. The future is now old man winning. Cause I win every day. Winning. Am I right? Oh, another epic 2012 thing. Remember winning? Ah, oh, Charlie Sheen is epic. Oh man. Dude, that was so uh, rate five stars. Temple run. Oh my gosh, I love 2012. Let's go. Oh, it's so scary. Oh man. What the fuck even were the temple run monsters? What are they supposed to be? I wanna go downhill. Let's go downhill. This is the opening to Spy Fox, might I add. Those of you who were there for that stream. And if you weren't there for that stream, I don't know, consider suicide. I don't, I'm not saying do it. I'm saying consider it is so, so it doesn't go against TOS. Also, is it me or is this song kind of sexy? <laughs> oh, SpongeBob. <laughs> what are you doing? This is me Squidward, by the way. Now, SpongeBob, I know we haven't always seen eye to eye, but maybe we could see tip to tip. <laughs> SpongeBob, me boy. No, that's the other guy. The red, the red, the red guy, the red man. I'm stuck. SpongeBob, I appear to be stuck. SpongeBob, this is so sad. Me more. SpongeBob. I love you. All right, let's <laughs> Y'all ever tumble down a hill gleefully? I haven't done that. I haven't done that since I was a child. Since probably the last time I did it, 2012. Which is current, which is currently now. So this is going to be mildly racist. I'm calling it immediately. Now don't be trying to scrape the plate or the popo will be busting yo grill. Oh my God. Dude, I don't, <laughs> this is. <laughs> The fact that you know a white person made this makes this feel weird. You are in the Wild West. Look out for- oh. King of Pop! Pow! That was supposed to be Michael Jackson. That did not sound like him. I'ma be- I'ma be women. Oh, King of Pop! Oh no, I brought two children with me. I didn't think about- No, he's trying to get him! No! Man. Oh. Yeah. Maybe this game did deserve to die. <laughs> this game is not very good. However, it does provide a really nice canvas for someone to riff off of, especially with 2012 type humor. So say what you will about this game, it does make perfect sense that it launched the careers of a bunch of people at the time. But we cannot talk about YouTube gaming without talking about horror. There is an extreme overabundance of games that came out of this era, but I'm just gonna focus all my attention on the three that I like the most. Starting with... If you're unfamiliar with this game, you are in luck. It is a very positively rated Half-Life 2 mod with heavy themes of depression and mental illness. Yay! And might I add, it is also free, which is insane. I do not react well to horror games at all, and this is the game that scared me the most when I was in middle school. So, so I, so here's me playing it. <laughs> Press B. Find a code. Got it. This sucks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like this. Shut the fuck up, man. Ah, oh, dude. Fuck this. Why is this so f- ah! Ah! Fuck you. Also, by the way, is this just, is this, this is a different country, right? This is like Sweden or something. This is what, this is not America. I feel like this place would look much nicer with like, just like, just get rid of all of this and just put like a Walmart, just like right there. Um, bikes, just, we need a, just an eight lane highway. I think that that's what's missing. Oh, I don't wanna. Is there anything I could do here? 
Fuck! That's fine. No, we're fine. Calm down. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Are you a thing? Okay. What the? Nice book bag, pussy. Is that blood on the floor? What's Davi Vanity, Van, Vanity, Vanity doing here? I fucked up that joke. You get it though. What are you? Picked up a syringe? I don't know if I would do that, <laughs> but okay. I don't know how to climb ladders. That's fine. Oh! Shut up! I'm leaning back and forth in real life. Oh, I like his sweater. It sounds like a dog drinking water. <laughs> I'm like constantly shaking, by the way, just so we're clear. Fuck. Something's gonna be in here. Something's gonna be in here. I'm, I'm good. Okay. I'm gonna run forward. Because I feel like if I scare it, it can't scare me. Ah! Oh! Shit! No, I was wrong. It scared me. Atari. Whoa. A gamer lived here. Now that's the real horror of this game. Oh my god! Ah! Fuck off. Shut up. I peeked the microphone so hard. I'm so sorry. Those little kitties are so cute. They look so lovely. I'm not reading that part. But then, then those parents come. That's why I have to kill them. I mean, I understand the logic, but you should probably die. What is happening? Do you want me to do something or are you gonna go, ah, and then I scream and it's funny. God, oh, oh, shit. God, fuck, I don't like this. I'm getting hot in here. Um, oh, by the way, my new place, it doesn't have great AC, so the fact that I'm like, I'm gonna be in character and wear a hoodie, that's stupid. Come on out. I see you. Come on. Stupid. Bald head. Caillou looking. Fucker. Oh, the fucking flickering bathtub scared me. A skin of a rink is scary to some people, not scary to others. I am the kind of person that I know it'd be scary to. <laughs> Dude, I... Did you see my body take a screenshot? The way every muscle just went, ooh! <laughs> God, I hate this fucking game. It gets so much worse too. I don't I don't want to play. Stop it! Don't be new. <laughs> You're going to settle and go to bed. All right. Good luck sleeping. Fuck you. <laughs> no! Let me reload! Ah! Fuck! Is this where I wanna be? This is ass. I'm frightened. What the fuck? God, I don't like this. I don't like this. This is awful. I don't wanna. I don't look at her. She sucks. I don't like this lady. Why did that- why does picking up the Glock sound squishy? I don't know guns very well. Are they squishy? That's why conservatives like them so much. It's like a stress ball. God knows they need it since they're not going to therapy. <laughs> Chat, how are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> uh... Dude, I don't feel good physically. Like, I've been at a state of heightened stress for two hours. Oh, look at the Silent Hill, the room looking ass. Oh, it's raining. And we're outside. 
Oh, that's cool. Oh, shit. The dog drinking jump scare. Oh, there's a lot of you. Ah! Ah! Oh, okay. Hey, that's fine. That's a-okay. I'm all out of bullets. Who needs them, I say. And then I stopped playing because it stressed me out too much. Honestly, a very solid game, and I didn't even get to the scariest parts. This game blows the evil within out of the water, in my opinion, which is especially insane because it literally costs zero money. But although this game was a staple of the golden era of horror YouTube, it hasn't quite left the impression that I thought it would, at least not in comparison to Slender. And, uh, and, and speaking of Slender, Slenderman was definitely the largest staple from this era of YouTube. His influence was seen pretty much everywhere. But does it still hold up is the main question. Will it still make me scream and nervously try and make jokes to break the tension like it did in 2013? I don't know, let's find out. Approach this game with an open mind. You know the game is good when it has a disclaimer of guys, Please don't be mean. We tried our best. I don't know how scary this is gonna be. I think this game might be dog shit, potentially, and it's just nostalgia. Look, the harsh line right there at the bottom of start game. That's really funny. It's an ugly face. What's with rich people and like having vases that are impractical and also stupid looking? Oh, there he is! Hey, look at him! I will say, even though the Slenderman stuff is like kind of dumb, I do, it like it's cool that he stalks his prey. Like he could kill you at any time, but he just doesn't. He like he likes to spook you. That's cool. I like that a lot. That's pretty neat. That's it. Don't get me wrong. This game is is spooking me a little bit, but like that's it. You just from far away. Oh. <laughs> damn it, damn it! He got me! Okay. Oh. Uh, he came for me. I didn't listen. He was right. He said this would happen. Help me. I feel like this is something middle schoolers would draw, and they'd be like, I hope someone sees this and thinks I'm edgy, and like I'm haunted, and they're like, whoa, that person, that child's mysterious. Oh, great. Eat my ass. Hole. It fa Oh! Shit. That's okay. Two, two pages. Oh, fuck. That's awesome. No, I don't like this. I remember why this is scary. I remember now. You can't run. Yes, I can. It's shift. It's left shift. You included it in the game. It's gonna get you. Thanks. <laughs> How about some, you can do it. You're good at gaming and handsome. Stuff like that. That'd be cool. Four out of eight. This game's easy, dude. I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm not even scared at all. In any capacity. I've never been, once been scared. Ever. Stop. That was to assert my dominance. That wasn't because I was scared. It backed off. Stop it! Ah! Shut up. Where? I can't. I don't even see him. Okay. All right. I, I'm not looking over there. Oh. Oh, it's here. The game's helping. That's so cool. Six of eight. I don't like, this is, oh, oh, I'm stuck on the geometry, go, holy fuck. This is tapping into 2013 anxiety for middle school me, and I'm right back to the fucking porta potty. This sucks ass. Just give me two pages. Just give me two of them. There's a thing. Is this good? Is this good? Fuck! What? 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 Fucker. Seven out of eight. Fuck you. 
Hold on. <laughs> Just give me a minute. This is not a bit. I'm just, I, hold on. Fight or flight has been activated for a little bit too long of a period of time. I don't like just getting just something, something, cha something is chasing you. Just fuck. I hate that. What the fuck? It's like, it's like Red JJ the Jet Plane. This is nice. More horror games should take place in daytime so it's less scary for me. <laughs> I am okay, Kate. The woods are beautiful. Please come see. I am going to find you so you can see. It's so beautiful, Kate. That That's actually scary. That's actually spooky as fuck to like get get a letter from your friend not in their handwriting that's like please come to the woods. It's so beautiful. I will find you so we can go to the woods. That's that's good. That's good horror. Credit where credit is due. This is fucked. This is fucked up. I don't like this. Okay, that's the thing. Something's gonna happen. Dude, I don't want- I don't- I don't- I don't wanna- I don't- I don't want to. You know what? I bet they didn't even put an enemy in this level. So, I bet I can just completely calm down. I just like that, I don't care. No, not the, the violins will do nothing. What the fuck is that? <laughs> no, it's a mating call. It's like trying to draw me in. Like, this is what, this is what you're missing out on, big boy. There's two generators down there, so I have to go down there, which sucks ass. This is fucking... Oh! Oh, to blind? Right click. Where are you at? Stupid. That's a homeless person. We're, we're hitting homeless people. Where are you? Where the fuck are you? Dude, you just need, you just need like some medical help, man. I'm sorry. Just, you scared me. Dude. How about, nuh -uh. back up, fuck off, fuck off. No, go on, get. No, go on, you're just gonna, you're camping. You're camping near that, and that is bad. Show etiquette, this literally looks like me, kind of. <laughs> I totally missed one over here, I bet. Where are you? Where, 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 it won't let me, what happened even? Oh, he got me. Fuck off. Stupid fucking game. All right, well, <laughs> thanks for watching. This is awful. I'm fucking... Uh. Wow, what a coward. I told you I wasn't good with horror video games. Even though active pursuit horror is effective, it's kind of cheap, and I'm not really a fan of it that much. But moving away from straight up horror into the realm of psychological thriller, we have Condemned. Press escape. D objective. Follow Detective Dickinson. Uh, the game, by the way, I don't know if you could tell, is doing that really cool thing where he's walking just slightly slower than just pressing W moves me forward. That's so cool. I love how far games have progressed and we still haven't fucking learned to not do that. Yeah. He looks pun He looks racist, doesn't he? I, it's unfair to say that they look racist. They are police officers. Agent Thomas, this that is kind of goes Becker. without saying. You know, Becker what? <laughs> found the body. I'm Becker, no smoking at a crime scene. I don't smoke. Well, someone was. <gasps> it's coming from in here. Didn't he just say that this place is like crawling with junkies? Is it weird that it kind of smells like smoke? Dang, I can smell the cigarette smoke. Yeah, there's windows here. Shit. Now he's playing with us. Change of plans. Becca, secure that door. Thomas, check out the building. What if he's Get just a paranoid on. schizophrenic and it was just like, no man, this is an old building. The lights do that. And he's like, he's coming. He got us. Open fire. He's having a nightmare. Hey, sleepy Ed. 
You having a bad dream, buddy? You can kick enemies. <laughs> uh, aren't the police great? It's just like, this man clearly needs to go to a hospital. Just fucking kick him. Hey, man. Uh, where'd he go? <laughs> like the rockets. I don't know. It's just, it's, why is the feet so stubby? It's just... <laughs> eh. Oh, there he is. Oh, the flashlight doesn't do anything. That was awesome, game. That was so spooky. That wasn't weird and unnecessary at all. What she sees, the, pr the prompt before sex. <sighs> that was a good joke, Tyler. That was awesome. You missed. Mom's gonna be so mad. Oh, shit. All my brothers are ganging up on me. Guys, stop! Stop! I don't want to play! I don't want to play anymore! I don't like this game! How did you block an axe? That's not fair, that's against the rules! Yeah, boys being boys, just roughhousing, you get it. Could she really still be in this town? <laughs> oh! Alright. I didn't like that. That was cool. And stun enemies with taser. <gasps> yeah, nice limp, idiot! Take that, I hate disabled people. Ah! Fucking nerd. It's glasses, what a pussy. Just use your eyes, dipshit. Okay, you don't have to go down every single- you could skip one of them. I hate people that go up every single step instead of just like skipping one. Or like, like you know, get, going every other step. Some about it just feels like they think that they're better than me. <laughs> Aww. Someone feeling a little upset? Someone throwing a hissy fit? Were you not allowed to watch Spongebob before dinner? Oh, okay, Mr. Sir. Three, two, I'm gonna take away the Xbox. I'm gonna take away the Xbox. Uh, yeah, sir, can I get, um... Uh, can I get the tuna roll? It's only 350. Okay, your customer service skills are bad. And you hit like a girl. Hey, that was only a few times. There should be a mod that replaces the gun with a penis. And the bullets with urine. And then... There you go. I just, I'm just giving away game ideas for free. That's like a multi-million game idea right there. Okay. Thanks, lady. I don't know why you're helping me. You would, like, get some serious jail time just for talking to me, but okay. And she's doing work for me, too. Fuck doing work for free, let alone if it could get you in trouble. <laughs> that was so shitty. Come and take it. Come on. <laughs> He's that one meme. Well, my gun liberals, take it from me. Put your hands on me. Put them soft, girly hands on me, liberals. Why don't you kiss me for it? Good. I thought there was another one. Oh, shit! Mwah. Give him a kiss. There we go. And now I could use this. Oh. There's a lady! Diversity! Inclusion! <laughs> oh, that was- dude, you were so close to getting me on that one. That was awesome. Hurry! I- I feel like they could have made that really tense and they just didn't. Are you moving? Oh. I feel like you're supposed to be like dun 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 but it's just silence. Okay. Am I supposed to know what to do? Oh, okay. Yeah, 
that was scary. <laughs> Yeah, so this game definitely has some sound issues. <laughs> the gameplay also gets a little bit repetitive, but overall, it is a quite fun game. And there's one last game that I wanted to play for this video. It did come out in 2006, but I think we can all agree it is still a staple of the golden era of YouTube, and I also just wanted a palate cleanser after all the spooky stuff, so... Bully. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy the Girl hey, yeah. in School. Woo! Edie, where are you? Oh! <laughs> if I recall, you might make out. Wanna make out? Yeah! I would love to be a voice actor for a fucking game like this. What are you hey, nerd! Here? Shut up, pussy! Mom, I'm the nerd character. You coming, little Petey? Come on, I'm sorry. I'll give you a kiss if that's what you want. Shut up. He wants to fuck him on. so bad. Hey, Petey, wear this dress. Haha, <laughs> nerd. Ah, <laughs> now kiss me a little bit. Haha, <laughs> like as a joke. You got any liquor? No. <laughs> Fifteen. Whatever. What about drugs? No! That is, a, that is the most 35-year-old looking 15-year-old I've ever seen. Now remember, if you're young and you're watching this, if you're still in high school, you can punch people and not go to jail. That goes away the moment you turn 18. If you're, if you're young, now's the time to punch people if they deserve it. Just saying. I know that's not like good responsible advice is, hey, if you're young, you should punch people, but like, we're honest to God, that's, that's advice I wish someone told me. Just saying. Yeah, I guess so. Thanks. You're welcome. Let me just shove this in my ass. There we go. Brock, don't do- do- I'll do whatever the fuck I want, bro. Hey, what up, guys? It's me, Brock. <clears throat> uh, fucking gay nerds fucking taking forever, so I figured I'd, you know, pop in, pop in a little bit. Uh, pop in, pop some pussies, you know what I mean? Alright, so, yeah, what are we doing? I heard we were bullying kids, and that's fun. I love bullying people. Crossy has multiple personalities colorized. Um... Cool. I don't. I don't know what any of those words mean, but you gave you gave him bits, and you know that's what matters most, I guess. So, uh, thanks for the fucking money, pussy. All right, what's up? You like, you'd be a great cop. I would be. My dad's a cop. Uh, it's really cool. You like got me out of a whole lot of shit. Whole lot of like you know accusations. It's Brock and Incel. Nah, 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 bro. I get I get pussy like mad like 24/7. I'm 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 getting I'm having sex with a woman right now, honestly. Like, it's like all the time, even so much. <laughs> Sweet wit. Come by and see me anytime. I'll all right, bro. <laughs> I don't swing that way. I know Jimmy might, <laughs> but Chad doesn't. Brock Chasley, that's my name. MC, I'm a doctor. MD, I mean. I forgot what the fucking numbers were. Letters, whatever. Who gives a shit? Same thing. Hey, nerd. Nerd, get in here. Dude, I. Stop calling me that. That's, that really hurts my feelings. Oh, shut up, pussy. All right, go back to your little fucking video game bullshit. Okay, I will. I will. Just how about you fucking like chill with that, man? Dude, I fucking hate my roommate. Anyways, <laughs> the acting. What acting? <laughs> if I edit this into a video in the future, uh, add the Mario jump sound effect. All right, that'll be really funny in like three months. Shit, no, no, no! I pick it up, 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 pick it up. What am I? Some sort of ska band? Did I do it? Yeah! Haha! -ha. Assault is funny! It's caused three students to itch. Alright, I gotta seduce three students. <laughs> no! 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 Yes! No! Oh. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm... No. Puto, I know what that means. That's one of those planets. This is matter from the god! Give me that! Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very this was me and my dad, only instead of me being in high school, I was like nine. <laughs> How's it going? I want to spend time with you, but not if you're cheap about it. I got this for you. Why am I backing away? You're in luck, baby. I really like your present. It's just you and me, baby. Hope what you don't mind. Do? Yeah! All right. Up next, we gotta kiss a nerd. I need to, whose other boys I can kiss? I have to actually, I have, this is like worth taking a moment. Face track, there we go. That's Cornelius. Gord? 
That's an unfortunate name. That's Gord. Be on the lookout for Gord. Duncan? That's just like the vocalist of a new metal band in the 90s. Oh, hey. Can you give me something that I got something me for you. Of you? I literally, I cut her off. I like being alone. <laughs> what romantic ambience is going on right now? Oh, <gasps> that's the gay one. You cool? That's the gay nerd. I believe. I Are, wait, is this a, is this a child? What's new? I think it is a child, but like. It's okay, I'm fine. I think I think I'm getting the two different like black nerd characters mixed up. I. Let's just let's just let's just move past that. All right, hey, what's this way? I almost hit that child. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> oh. I'm not sure if I will send my I referred to her as a child. I keep accidentally being very inappropriate. This is the cancellation cancellation special. The slutty cancellation special. Okay. Wait, that's a that's a gay nerd! Gay nerd! Gay nerd! Gay nerd! Gay nerd! It's like we're Romeo and Juliet, don't you think? That's exactly what I was thinking, baby. Bring it in. We did it. I'm focusing. You can count on Jim. I don't know. What's the what's the what's the flex where they do this shit? That's always weird. I don't know how they do that. Alright, let's go to the shooting range. More like an American school, am I right? <laughs> You look like someone who'd say that. Hell yeah. Thanks for a great date, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, this was great. Do you want to go out again sometime? Hey, how are you? What's your problem? What? No, I pressed the wrong button. No, I was going to go like, hey, buddy, how you doing? God damn it. I hear you're mechanically apt, but I'm not sure I believe it. Care to prove me wrong? This game is just dumb fun. I really love it. It's very 2006, but I, it holds a place in my heart. All right, that's enough gaming stuff for one day because there is another trend that came out of the golden era of YouTube that I always thought was kind of wholesome, but it sadly stuck around for only a few months before completely disappearing altogether. And that's draw my life videos. Okay, before I start this, just a heads up, I legitimately cannot draw very well at all, so please be nice to me. I was born in Salt Lake City, Utah in the winter of 1999. My mom and dad ended up getting divorced when I was four, and it never really bothered me. It was less fighting and two Christmases, and even as a four-year-old, I was just like, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Growing up in Utah was difficult since the entire state's infrastructure was run by the LDS church. And I don't mean that in like an edgy, oh man, religion is like the puppet master man kind of way. I mean, quite literally, the entire state is ran by a religious organization. And if you weren't a part of that religious organization, you were both excluded subtly and not so subtly in just about every single facet. Like one time in elementary school, they made us all sign papers from the church promising not to break any of the more Mormon rules. And keep in mind, this was a public school, not like a private religious school, so doing this was legitimately inappropriate. Imagine sending your kid off to public school only to find out that they signed a bunch of Scientology papers while they were there. You'd be pissed, right? You'd complain to the school, the school would probably get in like a whole bunch of trouble, but in Utah, they just do that. And it's just the standard. I was the only person in my class that refused to sign. Even though I was only like 10, I was still able to recognize that it was inappropriate and weird. And since everyone in charge was Mormon and I was a 10 year old, there really wasn't a single person backing me up, so I just took their punishment instead of signing. This kind of thing continued into middle school as well. Uh, one time in my reproductive education class, we don't, we don't use the S-E-X word, I would repeatedly share knowledge of birth control methods with the rest of the class, but phrasing it as a question so the rest of the class would be able to actually learn about alternatives to abstinence since they're not legally allowed to teach anything else in Utah. And the teacher? hated me for it and saw right through what I was doing, but since I phrased everything as a question, 
I technically wasn't spreading quote unquote harmful information, aka the point of the class, so I never got in trouble for it. <laughs> Another time in middle school, I got an entire assignment cancelled because we had to do a book report on quote, any book of our choosing, so I picked the edgiest book I could possibly think of and it made the teacher so uncomfortable that she just cancelled the assignment and immediately gave us all a 100%. I also got really good grades in everything except for math, but no one believed me because of the way I look and that that I love goofing off. Other kids would talk down to me about certain subjects that I got a 100% on and they got like a C plus on, and I can't really say that I blame them, but it used to really piss me off. To this day, I still feel a little bit self-conscious about people thinking that I'm dumber than I actually am, which is partly my own fault, but still. It was around this time in middle school that my dad started to get, like, noticeably shittier. I don't know if it was drugs or a midlife crisis, or if he just saw me as less of a kid so he started to put less effort in, but around the age of 13, I put my foot down and said that I wasn't gonna see him anymore. One time he smoked something that, let's just say, uh, is very bad, and then decided to drive me home immediately after while definitely still under the influence and even as a 13 year old I was able to acknowledge that this man should probably not be left in charge of anything let alone a human child. So I left. I never talked to him again and that was 10 years ago. Holy shit. But flash forward to high school and high school was pretty good. It's it not that bad frankly. I went to a film high school slash degenerate high school. I don't really know how else to describe it other than that, but it was a film high school that was also coincidentally a place where a lot of kids went if they couldn't pass regular public high school. So in other words, it was, yeah, just a film school full of degenerates, which is just so incredibly up my alley. It was like 80% of Utah's emo teens went to that high school, which as an emo teen, Qu quite cool, frankly. But more importantly, it was a film school, which is where I discovered my passion for creating things. I ended up winning $2,500 in a filmmaking competition thing where they ended up flying us out to Colorado for a film festival. And basically, it, uh, even though that was cool, it was really my first time at going, hey, maybe I'm, maybe I'm actually kind of competent at making stuff. Then I turned 18, graduated high school, got a shitty apartment with my girlfriend at the time, lived very happily for a few years, worked a few jobs, made a bunch of TikToks that did surprisingly well, so I was gaining an audience for the first time ever. And then an earthquake happened, and then the pandemic happened, and then money stuff got scary, and then the outside world was getting scary. This was, this was when everything was just kind of falling apart. Remember that era? That was fun. Since everything was so unsure and scary, we both just decided to move back in with our folks, which meant we would be living in different states, and I moved up to Idaho to live with my mom. After a few months of quarantining during the scary part of the pandemic, I decided to shift away from making TikToks and start making something that took actual time and effort, something that I could be a little bit more proud of. And it was then that I made my first ever YouTube video, so yay. In 2021, I went to college in Colorado for film just because it was the cheapest film school that we could find, uh, only to find that the curriculum was the exact same as my high school and therefore I wasn't gonna learn anything at all so I dropped out because it was objectively a waste of time. I wasn't learning anything, I wasn't making connections with other people, it was just a very expensive daycare that took time away from actually making stuff and making money, so yeah, fuck that. Around that time, however, I had my first ever big breakthrough on YouTube where I got almost a quarter million views in just like four days despite only having 6,000 followers at the time. That combined with me starting K treatments and having a mental breakdown over how awful college was and how I should drop out made me just say, fuck it, I'm doing YouTube now. But since I dropped out of college, there was no point in being in an expensive place like Colorado anymore, so I moved back in with my mom again. And now I'm 23, I'm living in Ohio, and I'm making a Draw My Life video 10 years too late. A major through line between each one of these eras of my life has been the internet. Ever since I could remember, I always loved being on the computer and I loved watching videos. I always felt like I missed out on a lot of the trends I experienced through a screen, so I wanted to make a video where I do all of those things under the blanket of irony and analysis. But this really all leads back to the main question of the video. Is this type of content good or is it just nostalgia? I think it's a little bit of both. On one hand, a lot of the fatigue of modern content boils down to it's all just made for children that we kind of tend to overlook that it's always been that way. We just didn't really mind that much when we were children. But on the other hand, there was a sense of you in YouTube that 
doesn't really feel that applicable anymore. Back then, it really just felt like if you had a camera, was likable and funny, and you made content frequently enough, you could rival all of these people. It would be difficult and you'd have to get kinda lucky, but it all felt possible. But now? No. <laughs> can you as an individual honestly say that you can rival these companies? No. Can you buy a $10 million house just for a YouTube video? I think probably not. I sure as fuck can't. The scale of content has grown so much beyond just one person that it makes sense that the you in YouTube just d doesn't really work the same anymore. The closest thing that we have now to the golden era you of YouTube is TikTok and even that I don't feel holds up at all. Because even if a TikTok video feels like fun and improvised and very much captures an early internet feeling, odds are it probably took 10 minutes to set the phone up and make sure the lighting was semi-decent and what we ended up seeing was like the 13th take. TikTok isn't really authentic, it's just good at cosplaying authenticity. We've all just been on the internet too long. We all know that usually overthinking every aspect of a video is usually the smartest course of action if you're broadcasting yourself publicly because if you slip up, sometimes that that's all you could be known for and that's horrible and catastrophic so everyone plays it safe and everything is fake authenticity. Which sounds stupid, but like, God forbid you say the wrong thing or you look unattractive in a video that ends up going viral. That would, that, that actually sucks pretty hard, frankly. We've been trained too well that I don't think that 100% authenticity is really possible on the internet anymore. In conclusion, I think that the golden era of YouTube is okay in hindsight. And frankly, I don't even think it's the best era of YouTube. I think that that would go to pre-adpocalypse 2016 YouTube. But the biggest travesty, the biggest thing that we're missing right now is genuine homegrown videos born out of passion. Maybe I don't speak for everyone, but I don't want to watch you react to TikToks that your producer picked out for you. I want you to make something that you care about. I made this video because I felt like it. I didn't make it because I think it would be the most clickable thing and optimized watch time. No, I made it because I fucking wanted to. And that should be the only thing that matters. And I feel like that's something that a lot of creators are just like forgetting or they just don't care anymore. Anyways, I'm not really sure how to end this video. It's kind of a depressing note to end on, so. Maybe let's just go back to 2009 instead. Hey, it's me, uh, post credits annoying orange crust bag. I know that only three people are still watching at this point, but I wanted to let you know that I'm gonna be doing a special birthday stream on December 9th, so I am, I am uh, essentially inviting you to my birthday party. And also in December, I'm gonna be dropping uh, new merch. It should hopefully come out December 1st, unless if something horrible goes wrong with the post office, in which case, oh boy, I lost a lot of money. But new merch in December, so that'll be cool. So yeah, just these two things, and that's it. Okay, I love you. Uh, the video is actually done now. Okay, bye.